guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've uh, got a bit of a game review. Kind of a review. Um, GTA GTA 5, it's been out for a good couple of weeks now, since the 17th of September. And uh, I thought I'd do a quick sort of look back at it almost. When I first got it, it was literally the day of its release. And uh, of course, I hadn't completed it by then. But Really, looking back at it, it is still probably one of the greatest games I've ever played. Uh, hours of enjoyment. It took me a good week of solid gameplay, really. Uh, in, between, in between work and college and uh, going out a couple of nights, it did take me a good week to complete it. That seems to be the census, really, of everybody else who I've asked about the game and what they've thought of it. and how long it took them to complete and each person has said how awesome the game is uh, and it took them a good week to complete it as well so really it's pretty cool uh, good game I think it's going to outlast a lot of things in uh, years to come they've got to pull someone out of the bag really to make a game better than GTA 5 just because of the magnitude of it really uh, the gameplay, obviously it goes on for a good 100 hours really of uh, mission time. You've got side missions that go on for many hours as well. Even to go across the map really, it takes, even in a fast, good, straight line car, it takes you know, a good 5-10 minutes maybe. So it's not like it's uh, you know, 2 minutes down the road, it's you know, a good driveway. So the map as well is on a grand scale. Doing some side missions, sort of going under the sea, exploring, looking for some marine pieces, collecting waste or toxic waste, should it be called. They, you know, they're uh, they're not just five minute little things. It takes, you know, probably an hour or two maybe just to collect thirty pieces of toxic waste. And uh, same with collecting some marine pieces. So you got little side quests, side missions, collectibles. Uh, there's one that I want to collect about the spaceship parts uh, where you can make a car out of it I think that's pretty cool I really want to do that one uh, of course a couple of weeks after the initial release and uh, the dust has settled GTA Online was released and uh, in all honesty that was a bit of a shitstorm I tried so did many of the people I know who've got the game also tried to get online with uh, GTA Online trying to play it over the net and uh, of course it did not work there was rumoured to be that they had 20 servers whereas they actually needed 100 servers and of course Rockstar did not deliver with the promise so it's been about a week or so really that GTA Online has been released and in all honesty I tried for the first few days I thought GTA Online is going to be amazing it's going to be great uh, but really it can't be an amazing great if you can't even get on so I've left it, I've left the game really, uh, I can't remember the last time I picked it up, it's been a few days, I've been a bit busy, uh, but yeah it's been a few days since I've even picked the game up, picked up a controller and uh, decided to play GTA 5 on, online or offline really. I've done a few little things like I said, I've collected toxic waste and submarine pieces, I've brought a few uh, properties also brought a lot of clothes and I've still got a good 20, 20 30 million really for each player. But I don't want to buy all the properties, I want to buy them all, I want to buy all the clothes as well so then when you switch to player it does give you a bit of variety of clothes and a lot of shoes and hats and glasses. Yeah, it gives you a bit of a variety when you uh, select the player. Yeah, GTA Online. I do want to play GTA Online. I haven't got a crew, so I do want to make my own crew before I go online and rob banks and do all the crew stuff. Uh, but I also want to give it a bit of time before I go online, simply because there's still so many faults. The servers, I think, have all got finally sorted. However, there are people whose characters are getting deleted, which of course is not good if you've been playing for a good two weeks of GTA Online madness. And you finally got onto the server, which is good. If you played for so many weeks and then all of a sudden your character gets randomly deleted, that is not something you want. So 
you know, I don't, I don't want to go online and be kicked off the server or not even get on thanks to cloud being down and all that. After a week or two of good GTA Online playing, I don't want to find my character's been deleted. I might give it a week or two, get a few things cleared, let GTA iron out some of the problems and then uh, I might go online and create a crew and enjoy it that way. But, uh, yeah, there's still a few more things on the actual game I want to do, but I do want to go online once all the bugs have been cleared. But, for a quick little video of another review almost, or a look back, an overview of GTA Online and GTA 5, uh, really, GTA 5 is probably still one of the best games I've ever played. I've enjoyed every minute of it. There are, there are uh, a few little bugs that need sorting out. I think one really that did annoy me was the driving. Every car, bike or vehicle really that you get into, it wheel spins. And that's not true to real life. There's no need to wheel spin every time you get in a vehicle. Running as well. Running really does my head in. It's especially when you're inside. There's, uh, I think there's the odd building where you can actually run around and pick up pace. Whereas if you're in Markle's house, for example, you're slow walking and you, you want to move, you want to get going, you don't want to be stuttering all the time, you know. So I think the the wheel spinning, constantly annoying, that's annoying to me. Not every car is a wheel spinning machine. And I think you should be able to run in houses or in buildings, for example, just run in buildings. For example, one mission where you blow up the FIB's building and you play as Franklin you got to try and get out of the building and there's things collapsing and men coming at you. And you can't even run and it's like the building's on fire. You will die if you don't get out of the building. And he's not even running. He's not even attempting to run, even though you're pressing the run button. In cars as well, like I've mentioned, they're wheel spinning. But I think apart from them two things, the game's amazing. You can fly planes again. Uh, you can discover all parts of the island. You can go up in the air. You can go under the sea. The main mission takes a good solid week to complete. The side missions, side quests, collectibles. I mean, now there's a online map that you can finally go onto if you're lucky enough to get on the server and it's all sorted. Amazing game, love it. Hopefully, uh, I can pick up the game once again once ever you server and deletion problems sorted. But yeah, GTA 5, awesome game. Do not regret buying it. Another little review kind of look back at the game uh, but yeah guys GTA 5 if you haven't already got it go out and get it before everywhere sold out of it also guys don't forget Toby WTD promo code get 20% off any sort of We The The Voted items um, I'll put all the links down below yeah anyway, guys thank you for watching my second review almost of GTA 5 definitely worth checking out as are with The Devoted check them out guys Thank you for watching.